Plastic Free Nurseries is a programme from the marine conservation charity Surfers Against Sewage, aka SAS, which helps children understand the issue of plastic in the environment. It teaches them to spot single-use items, to question whether we need them, and to replace them with something better. It's all designed to help children learn firsthand the power of their own voice, while creating lasting environmental change from the playground to Parliament. The programme is split into five objectives that are easy to understand and a whole lot of fun. First off, you'll start a plastic-free nurseries club. The children hear the story of Barney the sea turtle and learn why single-use plastic is a problem. They sign their name to the programme and then get creative by making a plastic-free nurseries notice board to let everyone know what they're up to. Send the SAS team a photo of your notice board and tell us how many people you have taking part. Trash Next, run a trash mob. That's a high energy, quick fire cleanup in your nursery playground. Everyone puts on the gloves, shouts, trash mob! And gets picking. Any plastic or packaging pollution they find, they put safely into the SAS cleanup sack. We provide a tally board to record all the plastic items you find and send us the results. It helps us to understand what plastics are polluting nurseries all around the country. Next up, the children become plastic detectives, sniffing out single-use plastics. Every time a detective finds a single-use item they think is unnecessary, whether that's a straw, a fork or a sweet wrapper, the pupils freeze and raise their hands. You'll need to collect all the items they find for the next objective. Send us pictures of your plastic detectives in action and a list of all the items you found. Now comes the really important part, finding solutions. Get the children to help decide which single-use plastic items you can banish from the nursery and why. Our solutions flowchart will help. It could be something as simple as a milk carton. What is it? What's it for? Do we actually need it? What can we use instead? You won't be able to get rid of everything, but if you can banish three unnecessary single-use plastic items from your nursery, you will complete this objective. Finally, to show how every single voice is powerful, each pupil creates a piece of art that reflects their plastic-free experience to help spread the word. Here's mine. Show us a snapshot of these artworks and how you've shared them with the rest of your community. You could even send your artwork to your local politician. And that's it. You've completed this objective and the Plastic Free Nurseries programme. The children have learned all about the single-use plastic problem. They've taken action to benefit their environment and created art that reflects their experience. And they had heaps of fun along the way. Not only that, they've learned the most important point of all, that you should never underestimate the power of your voice. Power to the people!